when you're first beginning with ArtNet or SACN, there's a few things you're going to need. In this tutorial, I want to tell you about the things that you're going to need, and then I want to show you on the screen how to make these work together. Now, in this example, we're not working with any specific piece of gear, so this is more of a general overview um, instead of being gear specific to, to one specific piece or another. All right, so the first thing you're going to need is if you're just starting with this, you're really just going to need two ArtNet or SACN devices. You know, one of these devices is going to be typically your controller, whether this is a lighting console software or a media server. And then your other piece of hardware is going to be a DMX node or maybe an LED fixture that pixel maps that takes ArtNet or SACN or a moving light or some LED pixel drivers, something that's going to take in that ArtNet or SACN data and use it from the controller. Once we have those two things, we're going to have to have a network cable. And in its simplest form, we're really just going to connect the two of these together. OK, like you see on the screen, just take the cable, take it out of the console and into the unit. And most units are going to be totally fine with that and not need what's called a crossover cable in networking. But check your manuals just to see if it says anything about that now. On the intermediate level, when you have more devices or you just want to have the ability to have more devices later, you'll want to put a network switch in the middle. So a network switch is going to allow you to be able to connect multiple devices together. So you'll have your computer or your console going into it, or maybe two computers or consoles. And then on the output side, on the other side, they're going to be wired to your various items, whether they're DMX nodes, again, pixel bars, etc. Now, it's worth noting here that a network switch isn't always necessary, and some fixtures allow you to actually daisy chain the Ethernet signal much like you would daisy chain DMX. So, again, check those manuals. And so, all that stuff's going to be hooked together. Now, when it comes to actually making this stuff work together, the first thing you're going to do is go to your console or your controller, your media server, and you're going to see if it has a page for configuration. OK, so you're going to find that configuration page. It's got one and you're going to set the IP address and you're also going to tell what universes you want to output and whether you're using ArtNet or SACN. Again, not everything's going to have the option for both ArtNet and SACN. Some devices can only do one or the other. And so that, that's important to know as well. So you're going to get to that configuration screen in the software or uh, on you know a, a screen with some buttons, however you get to it in, in your specific controller's case. And you're going to want to set an IP address. If you don't have a router, you're going to have to set this and you can set it to something like 192.168.0.2. And then we're going to go and set our subnet mask. I recommend starting with 255.255.255.0. This basically tells the device that it only needs to look for changes in the last number and the first three numbers are going to be the same. And then you're going to go and configure your devices that are going to output DMX or be pixel bars or, or what have you. And on your devices, you're also going to go ahead and assign an IP address and a subnet mask. Again, we want to keep those in the same IP address range. So go with 192.168.0. something, you know, dot two or dot five. It just has to be different from everything else. Then set a subnet mask. Again, I recommend 255.255.255.0. And you're going to assign what universe you want them to listen for. OK, and this is critical. So you've got your console set to output certain universes of DMX. And then you have your device listening for those universes. And, and something to watch out for here is with ArtNet in particular, um, the universes start at zero. And so the first universe is zero and then there's one. But occasionally you're going to find a, a unit or a piece of software that starts at one instead of zero. And then all, all of the numbers are off by one. And, and that can really trip you up. So that's something to try if you're having issues. Um, so we set all our IP addresses. We turn on our ArtNet or our SACN. And 
at this point, you're good to go. Everything should be working. And, and if it doesn't work, I would suggest, um, you know, check the user manuals, make sure you're, you're setting things up right. And then also, you're going to want to go ahead and, and if you're having issues, make your system as simple as possible. Okay, you know, get plugged in, get wired instead of wireless, um, you know, remove extra devices. If you're on the internet, you know, get that network off of the internet that you've created etc and make it as simple as possible and then once you get it working simple you'll um, be able to work with it in a more complex fashion and then like I said once you're there everything should be working and congratulations you should have control over your first artnet or SACN device